Hey, today's video we're going to show you how to hook up a Reliance. It's a pump tank. It's 86 gallons, 325.5 L. It's a PMD 86 model water well tank. Not that hard. We'll try to guide you through step by step. Now we picked this one up, and you see down there, kind of pricey at TSC, but it was the closest store around here. That was 549.99 at today's price. And today, today is March 23rd, so uh, that's what you got now. This tank comes with a, a five-year warranty from Tractor Supply the Company, I'm assuming. And it's 86 gallons. There's your easy installation, no maintenance, 100 PSI maximum working pressure. This is a bladder tank, 325.5 liters. And of course, it weighs about 111 pounds. Now that's where we're going to start attaching most of the stuff that I'm about to show you next. That is a one and a quarter inch elbow right there. And we're going to attach it. All the other parts that you needed to attach the tank is going to be running right through here. And let me explain that. That is pretty cool because, see, you can move the tank. The tank is staying still. Or you can move the tank on the stand and actually move this around to where it suits your needs based on where you need the tank location. Hope you understood that, right? In other words, you can rotate the base, the tank on the base to fit whatever accommodation you need. Okay, now let's go over here. To some of the main parts none of the fittings but some of the main parts that we're going to be using here now if you see in the middle right there you got your tank t now i picked this one up at home depot you pick them up at lowe's and a lot of other stores it's a little pricey i want to say that one there was 75 dollars or something like that but that's today's price and then you're going to need this valve right here this is a relief valve now it is going to go in right here just like you see right there now, I'm not going to put them in place as I'm videoing, but once I get them in place, I'll, I'll come back and shoot again. Then you're going to put a drain valve, a drain valve right here, three-quarter. Brass no-kick hand, hand bib valve, when you'll call them. So if you ever need to drain the tank, you're able to do that by opening this up. It makes it a whole lot easier. Then up here on the top, you're going to have a zero to 100-pound pressure switch. And then on this side, you're going to have a quarter-inch nipple. Now, the height does not make any difference. This one is a quarter by four inch. It's going to go right on top here, just like so. And then the bottom of the switch is going to screw into that side right under. So this is going to be sitting just like you see it right there. And of course, this is the cover that goes on the switch. Now you'll also need a one inch spring loaded check valve. Now that's to keep the water from draining back and keep it pressure stable at all times. Okay, we made it to the point in the video where we actually have a lot of the stuff installed on the tank. And if you look down below, as earlier we stated that you got an inch and a quarter, 90 coming out of the tank. And then you've got the T, the Everbuilt T coming up. And you have the pop-up valve here, pressure relief, with your gauge, your water faucet, spigot, your pressure sensing switch. And then we reduced it down. This is one and a quarter inch on each end. We reduced it down to one inch because that's the pipe we're going to run. Same thing over here. Reduced it down from one and a quarter to one inch. There you go. You got a slip on slip collar with threaded nipple into a one-way check valve because this water is going to be coming in the unit this way. So you want to make sure that the one-way check valve is flowing that direction. We got it connected here to another little small section, and then we got a cutoff valve there. It's all pretty plain and simple. Nothing really crazy about it. Now, a lot of people have asked me, why do you run such a tall uh, quarter-inch nipple there? I don't think there's any theory behind that or any reason. But what I look at is it had to be tall enough to get past this in order to spin it around on there unless you put this on first and then put that on next. So that was my only reason I went behind it. Plus, it brought it a little higher up, which made it a little bit easier for me to, to put the wires on it. Now, we're not sure how hard it's going to be to install because we're going to have to haul this close to Houston, Texas, which is about five hours from where we're at now and tomorrow we'll get this thing installed and once we do I should be able to get you a video of the final installation on the water coming from the actual well itself going in through the tank and then of course coming out and going back to the to the home itself so those are things we'll, we'll see tomorrow those are things we'll also get a little bit of video and footage on and we'll send it out there to you now we do ask that if you got anything out of this video that you 
help us by hitting the thumbs up like and subscribe now that really does help promote this video and i understand it may not be the, the top of the line video but hopefully i convey the message that you're needing to, to hook up one of these if you're doing it yourself i will also post some links down in the description as to where this stuff can be purchased at and i must say that you know if you purchase through our links in the, in the description uh, we must put it out there that we are we will be compensated or uh, we get a small percentage, like I said, for instance, if you buy $10 worth of stuff, we get a whopping maybe 8 to $0.10. Cents. So it's really not a whole lot, but technically and uh, liability-wise, we have to put that in our listings and descriptions because it's going to be going through through Amazon most likely. So, yeah, we, we ask thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Post your comments down below in the description. Uh, positive, negative. And if you see something that you feel needs to be changed in the video, maybe we got something wrong, hey we're out here we're listening tell us tell us where we made a mistake if you feel like we did i know there's going to be a bunch of professional rambo guys out there in the, in the youtube world they're going to say oh that's the wrong way but it's okay we'll, we'll take your thoughts just like we have we, we, what's our opinion so again thumbs up like and subscribe see you in the next video